Hello and welcome to Spicy Saturday here at Taylor's Holistic Approach Ministries, a ministry that's focused on good health, the Word of God, and you. My name is Jetty Taylor Robinson, health coach, founder, and steward of the ministry. Today is Spicy Saturday on Our Daily Dose. The spice of today is all spice. So we are going to give a word of prayer so people can come in and then we're going to tell you about the spice, all spice. Gracious Father, we thank you, O oh God, for this fabulous day. We thank you for your grace and your mercy that continues to cover us and to follow us daily. We ask you to bless our homes and our friends and family. We ask you to forgive us for anything that we have done, said, or uh, not done that was displeasing unto you. We want to be in your will and in your way always, O oh God. We ask you to bless those who will view live or uh, afterwards. In Jesus' name we pray, amen, amen. So we're going to go right ahead because you know about my connections. I just never know. So I have to speed along. Okay, allspice. Allspice is native to Jamaica. It uh, is the most, most of today's allspice is um, imported in from Jamaica. And so um, what we know about Old Spice is it's also called the Jamaican pepper. So it's a dried berry from the allspice tree and they grind it up to make the, the spice. So I was looking about, I always like to tell like a little background about it and I was looking up the history. And so one account says that Columbus discovered allspice. Um, and they said that he was looking for pepper. He was probably drinking again. <laughs> like when he, they say he discovered America, uh, another program. Uh, but they said that he thought, so he named it um, uh, pimento and meaning pepper. And so that's what one of the names that it's, it still goes by. And he made some confusion because he found also chili, which he gave the same name to. Uh, another account says that there was a, um, a, a group of an army or whatever brought over. Good morning, Miss Norman. Good morning, Danielle. Uh, brought over from England and they were supposed to conquer some neighboring country, which they did not. And so they didn't want to go back and tell the person who was in charge that they didn't defeat this country. So they defeated Jamaica instead. And then, of course, they uh, discovered this allspice that the Jamaicans were already using. So it wasn't discovered by anybody, just like America wasn't discovered. Well, I guess he discovered it for the rest of the people who didn't know it was there. But uh, yes, so so that's a little bit of like little history uh, about allspice. So allspice is said to have like three distinct flavors. And so that's why they call it allspice because it has this flavor of cinnamon, uh, nutmeg, and also uh, cloves. And so that gives it its unique flavor and, and that's why it's so um, versatile as far as sweet and savory dishes in the culinary world. So benefits, bone health. Due to the manganese that um, is in allspice, it aids in the uh, health of your bones. It helps with bone repair and it helps with bone density. And it is, it has analgesic properties, which it helps with pain. Um, it's also anti-inflammatory. I mean, it's good for inflammation uh, as far as like people with gout, um, muscle aches, and arthritis. Oh, okay. Danielle says she loves allspice. Very good. Uh, and I think Norma said something, but I kind of missed it. Um, but um it also contains iron. So I hope you learned something today. Since you love it, Danielle, and since you, uh, Miss Norman's probably used it, um, because I think of your Jamaican heritage, I think it's Jamaican. Um, <laughs> forgive me if it's not. 
uh, then uh, I hope that today you find out some things that you didn't know about it and then you will make sure that you continue to find more ways of using it and use it more often. It contains iron and with the iron it helps with energy and mental alertness because of you know with the iron is good for the blood and so it helps to carry the oxygen to the muscles and the brain because of the iron that it contains. Um, there is this uh, remedy that says one to two teaspoons of allspice powder in an eight ounce glass of water. When a cup of water, uh, drink it three times a day and it helps with, um, it helps with indigestion. So Norma says, uh, Guyanese heritage. Okay, all okay. right, okay. sorry. Uh, I knew it was somewhere else, but yes, but maybe they use allspice there too. Allspice is rich in calcium, which is said to be effective in fighting against colon and rectal cancer. Uh, it has antibacterial properties and antifungal properties, along with the antioxidant properties, makes allspice a great immune booster. Uh, there's uh, copper also is an antioxidant in our spice and it grow and it helps to slow down the aging process so you know we're always thinking about you know aging and wrinkles and fine lines and age spots well um allspice helps with those some uses uh, essential oil. There's an allspice essential oil and they said you can actually if you have like a, a small like a minor infection or maybe like a scrape of the skin if you apply it directly on that area on your womb that it speeds up your healing process. It's used like I said before because of its versatility because of the the cinnamon the nutmeg and the clove taste that it gives out it's good for meats it's good for desserts and it's good for, to put in vegetables so that is your spicy Saturday spice of the day all spice so um, I don't um, miss Danielle where do you get your all spice um, I guess you just go to um, Yes, slows down the aging process. <laughs> I know, Ms. Norman, you and me both. Uh, yes, just like, you know, with the fine, with fine lines and wrinkles, um, age spots, you know, we want to prevent. And that's, that's what, thing, what these daily things are. It's like, you know, if you have things that we mention, then, you know, prayerfully, this will help you along the way. And if you don't have them yet, good, because this is... A preventive kind of thing preventive maintenance is always good uh, just to regular stores yeah okay and I think I've seen it before but I just you know it's something that I've never really paid attention or looked for but just looking for other things because I've look I've seen you know the nutmeg and the clove and the cinnamon uh, which I have some of those but just never really tried the allspice but I know that it's in a lot of Jamaican dishes so um, I am going to uh, experiment yes and buy some allspice and you know add it to my meats and vegetables see what kind of dessert recipes are out there and just give it a try Okay, so that is it for Spicy Saturday. Thank you for joining. Tomorrow is Worship and Rest Sunday where uh, we will talk about rest. I read this um, Bible plan and it was talking about rest and it gave some great insight on rest as the Lord wants us to. And then we will talk about our worship experience for the day. Uh, great and so let me know um, about you know your experimentation with any of the the spices or the herbs that I present each week and let me know how it turns out and you know if you're going to keep on using it because of the great health benefits oh right yes <laughs> very good very good i'm glad it did and so before that changes miss normie i'm going to sign out uh god bless and keep you have a great great saturday and prayerfully we will talk again on tomorrow remember all spice is the spice of the week <laughs>